Hey guys, hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to post uh, this quick video of the Sideshow Silver Surfer, which I got in the mail today. Thank you, UPS. Um, I had been waiting for this one for a while. I think this is this has been released a couple of months ago, maybe two or three months ago. I just had this on a payment plan. I was able to pay it off uh, this month. But as you can see there, uh, there's the Silver Surfer. I, I did like this statue when it was originally revealed. I know a lot of the, the comments on this one was that, you know, it wasn't a dynamic pose, which would have been nice. But I do uh, think this pose does fit the character really, really well. You know, I think it communicates uh, power. You know, he's in a very, uh, I guess, stoic looking, <laughs> you know, pose. And again, the, the physique, the muscle, uh, you know, the muscles, etc., I think, I believe this is a Daniel Bell uh, sculpt, so really, really nice job, you know, with the board coming out of the, the wave there and space. And Nova, I think, too, great job. I think for a proximity piece, uh, it's really nicely detailed. And th this one lights up, which I will I will do it in a couple of seconds. But uh, thankfully, no major issues on my end with this one. The, the surfer himself came out really nice. There are no issues on the body anywhere that I could see when I inspected it. Um, he's nice and, and, and silver. And here in this room with all the light, uh, you get all the really nice uh, reflections. But all the paint's nice and even. You know, no, nothing looks incomplete or rough or... or unfinished here so again and you know that it helps you know that the sculpt's got so many muscles because then you get to appreciate the silver paint etc the uh base itself the portal uh the waveform's really nice against uh you know the blue the purple the stars they did a really good job the board um the only issues i had was, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up, is there's a minor in paint imperfection here, which I think you could see it now, and then another one here. Uh, I more than likely will keep it, just because you have to be really close to the statue to, to notice it. And um, where I'm going to be displaying this, you won't even see that part, and I want to see it doesn't really bother me that much. But other than that, the board itself... Um, has no other flaws so I think for me this is definitely a keeper I'm really happy with the design I'm happy with the way you know Sideshow put this one together uh, Nova again came out really well as I said for a proximity piece you know I think how they finished sculpting the whole body this could be you know a standalone statue on its own and this lights up as well. Let me see if I can get this for you guys. There is a switch here. And the, the batteries were included. So thank you, Sasha, for batteries. And I think you can see it there. The hair is now lit up. And it comes out really nice. Uh, there's a lot of light in this room, so you won't really get an appreciation for the details, but I think that they did a really, really good job. And thankfully, at least for me, I don't see any issues like with uh, the seams being too noticeable between the forehead and the hair. Um, doesn't look bad at all. Yeah, but I would say overall, I think uh, if anyone's out there looking to get a uh, Silver Surfer statue to add to, to add to their collection, this would be a good choice. Uh, I think it fits the character really, really well. I think the uh, Nova proximity piece that comes with it, it, it's its a good value, you know, to get something that detailed along with this guy. Uh, but again, good job. Really happy with this one. You know, other than the two minor issues on the board that you can barely notice, unless you really look. I think uh, Sideshow did a really good job uh, as far as the packaging um, it's actually sitting on the box that it came in it's a fairly good sized box 
uh, for the size of this statue. Um, but the packaging itself is really nice. It reminds me of a nice comic book cover. I think they did a really uh, good job with the box itself too. Uh, this is not where I'm going to display it. I'm actually going to try and, and put it up here. I just got to move some of those guys um, into one of these shelves here. And he'll go up there. I have to rearrange some things here. But yeah, I would say thumbs up on this one. Uh, if you're uh, on the fence, I would say get it. Again, good job. I think the, the pose fits the character really well. The design does as well. And I appreciate that uh, it's not a full board. It's like half the board. I think if had they done the full board with this specific design, then I think the dimensions of the statue would have been really skewed. And, you know, you, you'd need a heck of a lot more room. I think the way they've done it here, um, you know, you can display this pretty easily in your collection. Uh, but again... You know, hopefully you got something out of this. Uh, thank you, you know, for your time. Thank you for watching. And please enjoy the rest of your day.